Hi, I'm Bonnie Barker with BonnieBayCrochet.com, and today we are moving on to square number five in the Friends Around the World three crochet along. This particular square square is called Duchy, and it's um, designed by Ineke Moyekens, and she is from the Netherlands. Um, let's take a look at some of the items that you're going to need. Um, for this square, she's recommending the following yarns, and the yardage is there for you to see. She used off-white, light blue, and denim colored yarn. This is using a worsted weight yarn of your choice. Uh, worsted weight is also an Aran weight. I'm going to show you the colors I'm going to be using. I'm sticking with my uh, Red Heart Super Saver because that's what I have a lot of, and I'm going to be using these colors. Now, you may choose three colors of your choice for this. It doesn't have to be in blue or white or any of that. You can choose that, or you can choose even a solid color of your choice. So please use your creativity there. Um, don't feel confined in any way by what is used in this video. Okay, you're also going to need a crochet hook size H or 8 or 5.00 millimeter. I'm also recommending that you have a yarn needle handy for hiding loose ends and of course the invaluable pair of scissors, especially when you're working with yarn changes. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I highly recommend you look at the link below in the description of this video so that you can download this entire written pattern. This will help you to learn how to read patterns if you're new to that. And it'll also give you confidence if you're not or if you just even wanted to bypass the video entirely and just go through the written work. There are several ways of doing the magic ring, but I'm just going to show you the method in which I am comfortable and I've learned. So I'm going to go ahead and hold the end yarn with the little tail in my non-dominant hand. And I'm going to wrap my fingers two times like this. I'm going to go ahead and reach under and pull up a loop. Okay, and the directions say to chain one. So I'm going to chain one, and we're going to work eight half double crochets inside this magic loop. For those of you who are really new to crochet, a half double crochet is yarn over. I always like to yarn over the back or, or have your hook reach up and grab that yarn. Insert it into the place, in, in this case the magic loop. Pull up another loop, yarn over, and pull through all three strands on your hook. So I'm going to go ahead and finish all eight of these stitches. After I finish those eight half double crochets, and you do want to make sure that you truly have eight, I'm going to pull up a loop here just for a second, and I'm going to pull on this little strand here in order to make this ring very small. Okay, now notice that this didn't go all the way down, which is not a problem, so I'm going to pull back again, and I'm going to do this a few times until I get this ring, whoops, until I get this ring just as small as I possibly can. Okay, give it another tug. There we go. So now they're both coming. Okay, so that, that is pretty, pretty tight there. So the idea is that you get rid of that little circle in the middle. We don't want to have a, a donut there. Don't, don't want a donut hole. After working those eight half double crochets, we're going to join with a slip stitch to the first half double crochet of the round. And then we are going to fasten off. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. And the directions say specifically do not weave in the ends, or at least not yet. Okay, and let's go ahead and pull that on through. And let's go ahead and go on to round two and get a different color. I'm going to go get the dark blue. Okay, now we're ready to join the new color. And I'm going to go ahead and make my slip knot before I actually join it to the yarn is kind of minimizes the bulk. So let's go ahead and grab our little circle here. Now the directions specifically say to pick up the third loop. Okay, some of you may wonder what in the world is the third loop? Okay, let me just try to show you. I know there's a lot of not there's a lot of contrast here. Okay, here are the two loops if you're working through both loops of the stitch. Well, instead of doing that, we're going to work in the back loop. And if you look back here, 
there's actually another loop there. Do you see that? Okay, let me, let me just share that to you again so this light hit the, hits it correctly. Okay, these are the two loops that we normally work through. We're going to instead work through the back loop and then there's actually a third loop of half double crochets. So we're going to go ahead and join that. We're going to pull that through and you can start in any of the loops around and do a chain. Now we're going to be working what they call a standing puff stitch. Okay, in order to do that, we're going to make this as large as a double crochet, and you're going to have to estimate on this, so you're going to have to kind of eyeball it. Okay, so that's about the height I'm estimating of a double crochet. So I'm going to, in order to do a standing, a standing puff stitch, I don't wrap the hook first. I put the hook in, pull up a loop. We're going to do that four times. Now I wrap the the hook, and that's two. That's three, and that's four. Now there should be eight, eight loops on your hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, and go ahead and yarn over and pull through and give it a chain. And I'm told that this is this chain does not count as a stitch. Okay, just to let you know that. And we're going to do that in each stitch all the way around. But after we've gone ahead and we've um, pulled the chain through, then we're going to chain one again. After that first standing puff stitch, now the rest of the puff stitches are simply puff stitches. In other words, you're going to wrap the hook, you're going to work in that back loop and in the third, third bar. Okay, so that's one repeat. Make sure that you're bringing them up to the height of a double crochet. And that's two, three, Four. Now you should have actually nine stitches on, or nine loops on this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yarn over, pull through all loops, give it a chain to tie them together. This does not count as a chain. And then chain one. Now this I'm going to put towards the back side. Um, now this is the place where the join was. So we only need one stitch. And if you look at the back, it'll be easy to see. So we're going to wrap the hook. So the same stitches joining. That's one, two, three, four. Pull them all through, tie them together with a chain, and then a chain one. Now we're going to do it in the next, in the next back bump. So we'll go into this thread and this one. That's one, two, three, four. Tie them together, chain one. Let's see if we have four more spaces. One, two, three, four more spaces to go. I'll go ahead and just do these with you. Again, the back loop and that third bar or third loop. Yarn over, pull through all nine loops, chain one, or actually chain to pull them together, and then a chain one. And now we're going to the next stitch. Here's the back stitch and the back bar, or the third, the third strand there. Yarn over, pull through all nine loops. Tie them together with the chain and then chain one. Okay, the last two puff stitches working in the back loop and then the third loop with that half double crochet. Yarn over, pull through all nine stitches, tie it together with the chain and chain one. And one more to go and then we'll be changing yarn again shortly. Um, Two, three, four, pull it through, tie it together with a chain, and chain one. Okay, so go ahead and join in the first, right here, this in the first puff stitch. Join with a slip stitch, 
and you're going to want to fasten off. Make sure you leave a nice long chain, or I'm sorry, a nice long thread there for weaving in at a later point. And this is what you should have after the first two rounds. At this point in the pattern, we're encouraged to go ahead and secure the ends. So let's go ahead and do that using our yarn needle. This is probably a good idea because there are going to be a lot of them to deal with at the end of this. So I'm going to do this on the back side of the pattern, or I'm sorry, of the, of the piece here. I'm going to go ahead and secure that and I'm going to go back into this so that these will not be seen. And I'm going to try to secure the dark colors under the dark colored crochet as much as possible. That looks good to me. So go ahead and clip it carefully, uh, but make sure that you do not clip your work. Now I'm ready to join color number three and the directions call for a standing single crochet. So I'm going to go ahead and make my slip knot um, before I join. Let me show you what you should have before this. Okay, this is the back side. And this is the front side. And you see I've hidden all my loose, loose strands. And it says to join in any chain one space. So I'm going to join in here with my standing single crochet. Okay, um, so now we're going to make a single crochet here. And then now the pattern calls for a front post single crochet around the next puff stitch. So what you're going to do is you're going to just working around the top. Okay. You're going to come in just, just around the top. It's, it's basically around where that chain one was made and go ahead and make your single crochet right there. I think that's intended to help gather these stitches together even more. Now we're going to single crochet, three single crochets in the next chain one space like so. And then we're going to do another front, I'll go ahead and slow down a little bit, a front post slit, um, single crochet around the next puff stitch. Again, we're centering on, you know, the top of the stitch. And then three single crochets in the next chain one space and then another front post single crochet just like so three single crochets in that next chain one space so go ahead and work that all the way around after working that last front post single crochet we're going to work two single crochets in the last chain one space, which was also the first chain one space where we worked that one standing single crochet. Go ahead and work a slip stitch and we're ready to move on to round number four. We're going to work ch three chains, one, two, three, and this does count as a double crochet. Then we're going to work two double crochets in the next space, one, two, and then after that we're going to work one double crochet in the next three spaces. One, two, three, and that's the pattern we're going to do all the way around. Two double crochets in the next stitch and one double crochet in the next three stitches. I'll do that for you one more time. Two double crochets in that next stitch and then one in the next three. One, two, three. And go ahead and do that all the way around. For the last repeat of this round, we're only going to double crochet in the last two single crochets. And of course, because the chain three does count as that third single crochet, we're going to go ahead and join with a slip stitch to the top of that stitch and we're going to let's go ahead and grab all the threads there go ahead and fasten off go ahead and get my scissors and the pattern encourages you 
to go ahead and weave in that loose thread actually two of them I'm going to go ahead and do that now okay at the end of round four this is what you should have now um, row five we are beginning with color one which is the white in my case and we're going to start with something called a standing front post treble I'm going to go ahead and start with my slip knot like we've been doing okay I'm going to have that standing by here and we're going to do something a little different okay so we're going to actually put my hook through where I'm going to wrap my um, post stitch around and go ahead and loop this two times and we're going to bring all of this through like so and then we're going to bring the hook now I'm holding the tail back here Okay, it's so a little bit of a tricky stitch, but just hang with me for a second. And we're going to bring this around this stitch. And we bring up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And just just keep this, this um, thread back behind. I'm going to do this one more time for those of you who are just kind of thinking, what was that? Okay, um, it took me a few minutes to figure this out myself. So, um... Let's go ahead and again do a slip knot okay go ahead and get that just comfortably around the hook like so now we're going to actually I'm going to bring this hook in here because I'm going to position it around the stitch and shortly okay I'm going to hold this thread down we're going to loop our hook twice as if we're going to do a treble like this and then we're going to continue going around the stitch to bring that thread through again so you should have this on your hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and make sure that this thread is back here we're going to deal with that once we go around so that is actually our first um, as our standing front post treble now we're going to do front post treble and the next 39 stitches as well. So that will give us a total of 40 front post trebles once we go all the way around. So go ahead and finish the rest of these stitches and I'll show you the connection when we get to that point. Okay, now this join is really, really different than I'm going to show you because it kind of is attached to what we're going to do for round number six. We're going to put our hook through the top loops and you see the stitch where the standing stitch was joined okay actually it's going to be this one right here we're going to do that and i want you to pull a slip stitch through all of that now to begin round six just just hang in with me because what we're going to do is we're going to end up folding these down it's going to be kind of a raised puffy um, effect um, going into round six okay so go ahead and chain one and working through the loops of the next stitch and of round four so we have round five here that we just completed and we're working through round four go ahead and do a slip stitch through all four of those loops so through this loop and the loops of round four Go ahead and pull that. Let me try that again because sometimes um, with this yarn, sometimes you, it's hard to get all of the plies. There we go. So you can't rush on this round for sure. Definitely take your time and put it through the two loops and then the two loops behind. And then the two loops. So this is the effect we're getting this kind of a nice little raised effect at first I thought this was a bullion stitch in the pattern and this is actually I think a little bit easier to do and quite a nice creative effect so go ahead and complete that all the way around at the end of this round I'm going to join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet of the round and fasten off so go ahead and give it a chain pull make sure you leave 
a long enough strand to hide the loose end. And the instructions do say to go ahead and hide this loose strand. So let's go ahead and, and do that. It's going to make our, our lives a whole lot easier in the long run. Because we won't have to look forward to hiding all those loose strands at the end. This is what you should have at the end of six rounds. I'm going to show you the back side, all my strands hidden. And now we're going to do a slip knot so we can do a standing single crochet. Go ahead, work that slip knot. And you can choose any of the stitches around. You should have 40 single crochets around if I've already said that. And go ahead and pull that slip knot through. I'm going to give it a chain. And go ahead and single crochet in the same place. Now we're going to single crochet two single crochets in that next stitch. And then one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. And one more. And that's going to be your repeat all the way around. Two single crochets in the next stitch and then one in the next four. One, two, three, four. So go ahead and work that all the way around. At the end of round seven we're going to join with a slip stitch to that very first standing single crochet of the round and do not fasten off. We're going to continue on with this color in round number eight, but do be sure that you have 48 single crochets all the way around. It's going to be kind of important that the stitch count um, is accurate for this next step. Well, oh, for all the steps actually. Okay, so now we're going to begin round eight. We're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet in the same stitch. Okay, now we're going to skip two stitches one, two, and we're going to work four trebles in the next stitch. I believe this is the point where we're going to start squaring the design off. So that's two, three, and four. Okay, the next thing it says we're going to work five treble crochets in the next stitch. So in the next stitch here, we're going to work five of these. One, two, let's get some more yarn, three, four, and five. The next thing it says to skip two stitches. So it would be one, two, and we're going to single crochet in the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, now we're going to repeat what's in the parentheses. Um, four times total. We've already done it one time. So inside those parentheses we're going to skip two stitches. One, two, and we're going to work four treble in the next stitch. One, two, three, and four. And then it says to work five trebles in the next stitch, which will be right here. So that's one, two, three, four, and that makes five. And after we do that, we're going to skip the next two stitches, one, two, and then we're going to single crochet in the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, 
five, and six. And this is the repeat that we're going to do. We're going to do that two more times around. So go ahead and do that two more times. On the last repeat, we're going to skip two, one, two, and we're going to work only five single crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five, because that first single crochet um, acts as that sixth in the repeat. And so we're going to go ahead and join with a slip stitch and we're going to fasten off and then we're going to secure or hide this loose end. So I'm going to go ahead and, and fasten off and I will secure this and then we will start round number nine. Okay, this is what you should have at the end of round number eight. So now we're beginning round number nine with the color number one, which happens to be white for me. I'm going to go ahead and make my slip knot because we're going to be making another standing um, treble crochet. So I'm going to join that with the ninth. That's the last um, front post. Um, I'm sorry, the last treble crochet of the of the nine or the you know, the four plus the five cluster on the corner there. I'm going to go ahead and hold this strand back like so. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this twice. I'm going to bring this all through on this side. Okay, see what I've got going here, just like we did before. And I'm going to go around this stitch, bring another, another um, strand up, and go ahead and complete that standing front post treble crochet. Make sure this strand is back here, and don't hide it yet. Just, just be patient and we'll deal with that at the end of this round. Okay, after I've done my standing front post treble, this is going to be the repeat. We're going to chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And let me give you a heads up. What's going to happen here is this round is naturally going to kind of fold the last round over like this and going to create kind of a puffy effect. Okay, so after I've chained six, we're going to skip the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to front post treble around the next nine stitches. So I'm going to wrap my hook two times. And nine front post trebles. That's one. Two. After completing those nine front post trebles, now it's time to do the repeat, which is a chain six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And notice how this is going to, should curve around towards the back like this. And now we're going to do those um, after we skip six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Those were those single crochets. We're going to work front post trebles in each of the nine stitches of the next corner. And that is the repeat. So go ahead and repeat that all the way around. For that last repeat, you're only going to work eight front post trebles because the first one has already been worked for you. So at the end of this round, you're going to join with a slip stitch to that first stitch of the round. And then we're going to fasten off. And the directions do say to Hide the loose strands, not now, but after the next round. So go ahead and leave yourself a nice long strand. And this is what you should have at the end of this round. Okay, now we're going to go on to round number 10. And we're going to need color number 2. Okay, Round number 10 has some new things. Uh, at least new to me, so I'm going to try to go slowly on this. We're going to be working with color number two again, which is, um, in my case, the dark blue. I'm going to go ahead and work a slip knot so I can work a standing single crochet, and you can join in any treble crochet that's the first of the corners anywhere around. So I'm going to join in this one, and as we work in the corners with the trebles, 
the front post treble crochets we're going to work through this loop and through the loop of row number eight okay so i'm going to go ahead and and start my work here i'm going to go ahead and give it a chain one and i'm going to make my first single crochet here okay and now the directions reading um, the directions says now this is after the asterisk and the parenthesis we're going to single crochet in the next stitch so we'll work through both loops the next stitch and then now we're going to do some increases we're going to work two single crochet in next stitch okay working through all four of those loops two loops of each row do two stitches, two single crochets there. And now the repeat, we're going to do that four times. That was one, and which is going to be a single crochet in the next stitch. Again, working through all those loops. And then two single crochets in the next stitch. One, two. That's our second repeat. For our third repeat, we do one single crochet. And then two single crochets in the next stitch. That's the third repeat. And this is going to be the last repeat of the corner section. And this is what's going to be repeated all the way around. One single crochet in that stitch. And then in the next stitch, I'm going to do two. Okay, let's stop and take a look at that. It really has a nice effect there. Make sure when you're doing this, if you're you know, if you're not using a single color, you know, it's nice to use some contrasting colors so that really stands out. Okay, now this is the next part of the repeat. We're going to work half double crochets, and this is the way we're going to do them over the next six stitches. This is going to be working the chain and the single crochets together. We're going to wrap our hook, and we're going to insert into the single crochet, and then I'm going to insert into the front loop of that first chain right like that okay and then that's half double crochet made and we're gonna do that again grab that next just the front loop of that chain that's two make sure you wrap your hook for the half double crochet I almost forgot to do that so that's three four, that's five, and this is the last chain, the last single crochet, six, so you have six half double crochets. After working those six half double crochets, we're going to work two single crochets in the next stitch. One, two and now we're back to our repeat with the asterisk which is one single crochet in the next stitch two single crochets remember now we're working through four loops two loops of row nine and two loops of row eight for this and now we work one single crochet in that next stitch two and the next one in the next and two in the next and that should give us one more repeat one in that next stitch and here is our next one now we haven't hidden these strands yet so i'm going to give those a little little tug let's go ahead and do so put that strand back there Let's try this again. I think I'm pulling. Okay, here we go. One. And two. Let's check to see what we've done. We have two in that first stitch. And then to repeat, one, two, three, four times. And so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to work those six half double crochets, working through those single crochets and the first loop 
of the chain. So let's find out where that first one is. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's right there. This can be a little bit of a handful, so do make sure that you're taking your time to do this correctly um, as it progresses along. It's 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 a quite a nice quite a nice design. I'm even thinking that um, these would make. I know I've said it before in the first video, but um, with the extra texture on this, this these would be excellent in cotton uh, for trivets, you know, for hot pads for the kitchen, whether that be pot holders and taking hot things out or even setting hot things on your counter. I think this would be a, a really excellent way to do this. Could be really excellent last minute gift giving ideas for you know special occasions especially for the holidays okay so now i've done that repeat two times so go ahead and complete that the rest of the way around your square for the last repeat you don't need to work the last two single crochets so go ahead and just join this with a slip stitch to the first single crochet of that round like so now we're going to begin, we're going to be using um, a different color. So let's go ahead and fasten off and go ahead and get color number three ready, which is going to be, for my case, the medium color blue. This is also a good time to go ahead and secure the loose ends of the last two rounds. So go ahead and get your, your needle, your yarn needle, and take care of that. Now we're ready. To begin round 11, which we're going to begin by working a standing single crochet in the sixth half double crochet of any uh, repeat around. So I'm going to go ahead and get my slip knot and insert my hook, pull it through. Now there may be a technique for doing this where you don't chain one, but I'm going to go ahead and chain one because I just feel like it's more secure. Um, so we're going to go ahead and make a single crochet there. And the instructions now say single crochet in the next four stitches. Okay, one, two, three, four. So there should be a total of five single crochet is the one we started with and then one two three four okay after we do that we're going to half double crochet in the next two stitches so half double crochet and then half double crochet um, now we're going to do two double crochets in the next stitch we're actually going to be forming the corner here two double crochets there chain two and then two double crochets in the next, put that strand there, next stitch. So now we officially have a corner. Now since I crocheted over this strand here, if you can just forgive me, I'm going to do a little bit of housework. Very carefully cut that strand, give it a tug. So that thing is hidden, hidden away. Okay, so now we've got our corner. Now we're going to half double crochet in the next two stitches, one, two, and now we're going to single crochet in the next 14 stitches. I'll go ahead and do these 14 stitches. After those 14 stitches, we're going to go back to the asterisk, which starts um, with those half double crochets, and we're going to repeat what's in between the asterisk three more times. Actually, yeah, that's right. Three more times. One, two, half double crochets. And then we make our corners by making two double crochets in the next stitch, a chain two, and then two double crochets in the next stitch. One, two, and that's going to be followed by half double crochet in the next two stitches, one, two, and then 14 single crochets. 
So go ahead and work that repeat in between those asterisks all the way around. So after working those final nine single crochet that's going to join with the five that does make a total of 14, go ahead and join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet of the round. Give it a tug so that we can fasten off. Go ahead. You can go ahead and hide that loose strand now. Now we're ready to begin round number 12, which says to join in the last stitch before the chain two corner, we're going to join with a standing half double crochet. So I've already got my slip knot here. I'm going to go ahead and bring that through. I'm going to do a chain. Again, you may choose to not have to worry with the chain, but that's that's just my, my way of doing things here. Now we're going to do two half double crochets, chain two, and two half double crochets working in that chain two corner. Make sure you're doing half double crochets because I automatically went into doing double crochets and um, had to kind of do a little bit of ripping back here. Okay, so now I've got the two half double crochets, chain two, two half double crochets in the corner. Now for the rest of this, we're going to half double crochet in the next 22 stitches across. So go ahead and work those 22 half double crochets. As I'm working these half double crochets, don't forget that this stitch is the first stitch. Okay, sometimes these um, corners can cover that first stitch, but make sure you pull it back and put a stitch in there because um, that is very important. That stitch does count in our stitch count as we go across. So now we come to the point where we need to repeat that again. So we're going to do the two half double crochets and then chain two. I'm going to turn my square 90 degrees here and then two more. Whoops, let me make sure that I'm doing half double. So I almost did a double crochet there and then two half doubles in that turning chain. And remember, like I said before, make sure that you pull back and put a half double crochet in that stitch there as we work 22 stitches all the way across the next side. And that is the repeat. It's going to be the corner, which was two half double crochets, chain two, two half double crochets, and then 22 half double crochets, one in each stitch across. So go ahead and do that all the way around. As we come to the last edge, we're going to work 21 half double crochets across. And this first of the round where we started actually makes 22 so that our stitch count remains constant on each side. Go ahead and join with a slip stitch. Now, just to be clear, you should have four chain two corners and there should be approx not approximately, but exactly 26 um, half double crochets because you're adding in the two on this corner and two on this corner. So 22 plus four is 26. So there should be 26 stitches on each side all the way around. Okay, so now we're ready for um, 13, row th round 13. I'm going to chain one and we're going to half double crochet in that same stitch as joining. Okay, now we're going to half double crochet in the next two stitches, one, two, and now we're going to do another half double crochet corner two half double crochets, chain two. I'm going to go ahead and turn the square 90 degrees and then two more half double crochets all worked in that same chain two corner. Okay. And now it says to skip the next hidden stitch, which would be this stitch right here. We're not going to work in this stitch and we're going to half double crochet in the next 25 stitches. Okay, so this stitch, just to be clear, we do not have to pull back and find that stitch. Don't bother with that. We're only going to be needing 25 of these stitches. So half double crochet and the next 25 stitches across. Now that we're bring us to another corner and this is going to be the repeat, which is our second repeat. We're going to do two half double crochets, chain two, and then two more half double crochets worked in that chain two corner. And just as a gentle reminder, we do not need to work in the first stitch that is actually covered up by this chain 
two and the uh, double, I'm sorry, uh, half double crochets in this corner, but instead go to the next stitch and we're going to work a half double crochet in the next 25 stitches. So that is going to be your repeat all the way around, except when you come to the last, let me show this to you now, when you come to the last round, um, these these three stitches are actually going to count in that 25 stitch count. So I'll, I'll show you how to, to figure that once we get to that point. As I finish working the last edge, starting with the half double crochets, one in each stitch over here, I actually work 22. And then, then these other three, 23, 24, 25, make up the difference. So we do have 25 half double crochets on each um, on each side, that's not including the chain two. I'm, I'm sorry, the uh, two double, two half double crochets in each corner. Let's go ahead and join with a slip stitch, and we're going to fasten off with this color and change colors. So go ahead and do that. Leave a nice long strand, and go ahead and hide that loose strand now. So this is what you should have at the end of round 13. Now each side, if you include the half double crochets here and here, and counting from the chain two all the way across, you should have a total of 29 stitches on every side of your square. Okay, round 14 calls for color number two, which is my dark blue. And starting with a standing half double crochet in any chain two space, we're going to um, have a, let's go ahead and do that standing half double crochet. I'm doing mine with a chain. You can try to do it without that, but I, I prefer to do it this way. So I'm going to do my half double crochet, and I'm going to do a chain two, and then another half double crochet worked in that same space. Okay, now just take note that we just have one half double crochet and not two in these corners for this round, especially since we've been working two stitches per corner. Okay, now we're going to back post, double crochet around each of the next 29 stitches. Just like this. And I think this is kind of cool because look what we have here. And it looks like we end up with like a running chain in front there. Isn't that neat? Okay, so go ahead and work these back post double crochets across to the next chain two corner. So now that I've finished working um, back post double crochet all the way across, it's time to do the corner, which is going to be just one half double crochet, chain two, and then one half double crochet. And that is the repeat that you're going to do all the way around. We're going to work a back post, double crochets in each of the 29 stitches, and then work a half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet in that chain two corner. So go ahead and work that all the way around. This round ends with a slip stitch to the top of that first half double crochet. And go ahead and fasten off and secure your ends because we are changing colors once again before we begin round number 15. Let me show you real quickly what you should have. Looking good. Okay, let's get ready for round 15. We're going to use something called a double single crochet. And we're going to start with a uh, standing stitch at first. So let's go ahead and make our slip knot. And I'm also using color number three or the medium blue. Um, so we're going to start this two stitches, one, two, before any chain two corner. So I'm going to go ahead and insert my hook and do this very carefully. I'm going to go ahead and use my chain one. Now I'm going to go ahead and begin like I'm making a single crochet. Okay. Now I'm not going to, to, to finish this yet. I'm going to wrap the hook one more time. Go back into the same hole, pull up another loop. Now you should have one, two, three, four stitches on, or hooks rather, on that hook. Yarn over and pull through all four 
stitches. Now that's going to be our uh, double single crochet. I'm going to chain one. We're going to skip the next stitch, which is right here, and that's going to bring us to the chain two space. And this is what we're going to do for the chain two space. Pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull up another loop, yarn over, and pull through all four loops on the hook. Now we're going to chain two, and we're going to do that again. Stick the hook in, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up another loop, yarn over, and pull through all four loops on the hook. Okay, we're going to do this across, so we're going to skip the next hidden stitch, which would be here. We're going to chain one, and then we're going to do another, um, another double single crochet. Okay, make sure you have four loops on the hook before you pull through. Chain one, skip the next stitch, stick your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, stick that hook in that same stitch, pull up another loop, yarn over, pull through all four loops on the hook. I'm just going to do a couple more of these with you because um, if this is, if you're like me, this is kind of new to you. So let's go ahead and I'll just do a couple more um, like this. We're going to skip the next stitch, stick the hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, hook in again, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all four loops on the hook, chain one, skip next stitch, put your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, put that hook in that same stitch, pull up another loop, yarn over, pull through all four stitches on the hook, chain one. As we go across, you should have, not counting the corner, let's not look at the corner right now, but counting just these stitches, you should have 15 of these going across. So go ahead and do that all the way across until the next corner. As I've finished going all the way across the one side, there is one stitch left, which is we are, we are going to skip, but I have counted from um, past the corner from here to here. We do have 15 of the double single crochets, so then now it's time to do the corner. Hook in that corner, bring up a loop, yarn over, put your hook in again, bring up another loop, yarn over, pull through all four stitches, chain two, and we're going to do that again in the same place. Hook in, pull up a loop, yarn over, hook in, pull up another loop, yarn over, pull through all four loops on the hook, and go ahead and chain one, skip that hidden stitch here, and then go ahead and do the double single crochet, and then chain one, and then skip one stitch all the way across that side. And then when you get to the corner, go ahead and do the same thing that I just did here, and go ahead and complete that all the way around. At the end of the last um, side, we're going to work 14 of the double single crochets across because the one we're joining this to here makes up for the one that um, we're not working on. So that actually brings our stitch count to the same. So go ahead and join with a slip stitch to the to that stitch and fasten off. Give a little chain and a tug and make sure you leave a nice long strand so we can run that into our yarn needle. So go ahead and secure that loose end and then we'll be ready to begin round 16. Now we're ready to start round 16. You can start this in any chain one space that comes before the corner. We're going to go ahead and insert our hook and we're going to do a standing single crochet. So we're going to go ahead and take our slip knot like that. And I am going to go ahead and use my chain one and do my single crochet and then do one more single crochet. Now we're going to work in the chain two corner. I'm going to work a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet in that chain two corner. Okay, now I'm going to work across across the side and what I'm going to do is in each chain one space I'm going to work two single crochets. One, two. So go ahead and work those all the way across. Um, you're going to do that 
16 times across and that should give you 32 single crochets just counting the single crochets we're putting in the chain one space that's not including the corners this is what you should have after working that all the way across when you get to the chain two corner we're going to work a single crochet chain two and one single crochet so go ahead and work that repeat all the way around we end round 16 with a slip stitch to that first stitch of the round and go ahead and give it a chain and a tug and we're going to go ahead and fasten off so that we can start with another color and don't forget to go ahead and hide these loose strands okay we're going to try round 17 and we're going to start this five stitches from the chain two corner so if your chain two corners here you're going to count back one two three four five okay i'm gonna i went ahead and made my slip knot so i can make my standing um double crochet three stitches together uh, i'm going to go ahead and pull that through i'm going to yarn over i'm going to insert that hook in that stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two in the first stitch now the next stitch i'm going to do that again yarn over in the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two I'm going to do that one more time. Yarn over in the next stitch, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. You should have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all four loops on the hook. Now we're going to skip one, two, the next two stitches, and then we're going to work something pretty unique in this corner here. We're going to do treble crochet two together, and then we're going to do that five times. Okay, I'm going to prepare for that treble crochet put that in the chain two space pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and do that one more time double wrap insert hook in pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook okay that is one after we do that we are going to work a chain one okay and then after that we're going to do another double wrap insert into the same space yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and do that again double wrap insert hook into the same space yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two now we have three loops on the hook yarn over pull through all three loops and then we give it a chain one and that is two we're going to do that three more times double wrap insert to the same place you pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two double wrap hook in pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through all three loops on the hook and give it another chain so now we have one two three treble crochet two together stitches that's a mouthful anyway double wrap Hook in the same place again, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Double wrap in the same place, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook. So now that's one, two, three, four. Go ahead and chain one, double wrap, put the hook in, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two double wrap hook in pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two should be three loops on the hook yarn over pull through all three loops on the hook so now we should have a to total of one two three four five treble crochet two together and that's what you're going to do in every chain two corner going around the square after that corner we're going to skip two stitches don't forget the hidden stitch here so we're going to skip one two stitches and then we're going to wrap our hook and we're going to do double crochet three together i'm going to pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and we're going to go to the next stitch yarn over insert hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and do that one more time yarn over insert into the stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through all four 
um, loops on the hook and then we're going to chain two and we're going to do this all the way across yarn over and we're going to just start in the very next stitch we're not skipping anything here pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and do that in the next stitch and the next stitch until you've done that in three stitches and you have four loops on the hook yarn over pull through two all, I'm sorry pull through all four loops chain two and do that in the next stitch and we're going to do this all the way until we have nine of these clusters or actually um, we're going to repeat that that's right nine times one two three yarn over pull through all four chain two I'm going to do one more for you yarn over insert into next hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over insert pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and one more time yarn over insert pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through all four loops on the hook chain two so go ahead and work that to the first corner and don't forget that you are not going to work the last two stitches as you go across after repeating this nine times we're going to do it one more time yarn over pull through all four but this time we're only going to chain one okay for that final repeat and then we are going to work from the asterisk again which has us to skip two stitches and then work the treble two together and chain one a total of five times I'll go ahead and work that corner for you once again these are two treble crocheted together and then a chain one and then we're going to do that again remember we're double wrapping our hook now and pulling we yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two twice and double wrap yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and there should be three loops on the hook and then you pull through all three loops and then give it a chain one after you've joined it and then we're going to do that three more times yarn twice And then yarn over and pull three through all three loops on the hook chain one and that makes three repeats of this you need to do two more double wrap insert hook in the same place yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two do that again double wrap put the hook in pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through all three loops on the hook and give it a chain one and do that one more time yarn double yarn overs insert pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two double wrap insert hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through all three and give it a chain okay now we're going to skip one two stitches don't forget that hidden stitch does count as a stitch and that's two and then we're going to begin our double crocheting three together yarn over pull through all through all four loops on the hook and go ahead chain two and then work that across the side and that's what we're going to be doing across all the sides we're going to be double crocheting three together and chain two worked across the sides and then we're going to be working the five sets of treble crocheting two together in the corners and then a chain one in between those so go ahead and work that all the way around after we've come all the way across this is the last side I've gone ahead and made a set of um, nine sets of the double crochet three together and then here is the tenth that was the first of the round I'm only going to chain one at the end of this cluster or double crochet three together and join with a slip stitch 
and then we're going to fasten off, give it a chain and a pull, and let's go ahead and cut that strand. And we're going to go ahead and hide those loose ends. I'm going to go ahead and show you what I have at the end of round number 17. Now we're ready to begin round 18. I'm using color number two, which is my dark blue, or I guess this is really like a royal blue color. I'm going to make my slip knot um, to join the yarn in this standing um, half double crochet. I'm going to do a chain, which again is optional. Um, you can do it without that, but I just feel a little more secure doing it this way. Um, so this um, standing half double crochet um, takes the place of the half double crochet in the first repeat. Okay, we're going to do this three times. We're going to do a half double crochet and then a front post double crochet over the two trebles together stitch. Half double crochet and then a front post double crochet. Hope that's not confusing. We're alternating between half doubles and front post double crochet. Half double crochet in the chain one space and then front post double crochet. Once we've alternated that three times, we're going to chain two, one, two, and now we're going to front post double crochet around the same stitch that we've already done. Okay, this is helping to form our corner. And we're going to do that three times again, the, the um, front post double crochet. And then um, actually we're going to do a half double crochet in the next chain. This actually this half double crochet um, was by itself. Or, or rather it stands alone as, as a stitch in the repeat. This is not actually a part of the repeat. So the repeat begins with the half double crochet, front post, double crochet over that cluster, half double crochet, front post, double crochet, and then we're going to do it one more time. Half double crochet and a front post, double crochet. Let's take a look at that. So we have half double crochet as we started here, front post double, and we do that two, three times, and then we do a front post double crochet in that same stitch again for the corner after we do that chain two and then that, do that front post double, and then we repeat again, half double, front post double, half double, front post double, half double, front post double. I just wanted to be real clear about that. It took me a little while to figure this out. Um, but again, the pattern is written very clearly. It's it's just um, you know it's not it's not for beginners. But me, hopefully, with the um, the videos here, um, it can be. All right. So now for the chain two part, we're going to do two half double crochets in that, and then we're going to do a front post double over that three um, double crocheted together stitch two half double and then a front post double crochet over the next. So we're going to do that all the way across two half double crochets and then a front post double. And I'm going to see see how that's kind of gathering those stitches together and giving um, giving a lot more definition to this pattern. Okay, so go ahead and finish this um, to the corner. After nine repeats of the two half double crochet and front post double crochet, we come to the next corner and we're going to just work one half post double crochet and then we come to the corner, we do the front post double, half double crochet, front post double, half double crochet, and on the third, um, uh, two trebles together, we're going to do a front post double, chain two, and then another front post double on that same stitch, okay? And then we're going to do a half post double crochet, a front post double crochet, half post double crochet, front post double crochet, and then another half double crochet 
in that chain one spot. Okay, and now this is where we just continue on what we worked on the first side. And this is what you're going to continue to work all the way around the square. Okay, I'm going to do a front post, double crochet, and then two half doubles where the chain two space is. And do that nine times all the way across. And then again, when you get to, when you get to that corner, you're going to do a one half double in that chain one space and then alternate just like we did in this corner here. So go ahead and finish that all the way around. This round ends by joining with a slip stitch to the top of that first half double crochet. I'm going to go ahead and fasten off because the color that I'm using for my additional rounds um, are a different color. So let's, let's go ahead and take a look at what we have so far. I'm really enjoying this one. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the three additional rounds. Okay, for the last three rounds, I'm going back to my um, dark chocolate uh, yarn because that's the yarn that I'm actually going to be putting my uh, afghan throw together with. Now we're going to start in any corner. I'm going to go ahead and join. I'm going to go ahead and get my slip knot ready. Okay, I'm going to join with the chain one and we're going to work a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet in any corner. Okay, now we're going to single crochet in the next 40 stitches. So just work single crochet. We're working just normally through both loops all the way across to the next corner. The uh, stitch count was 40 per side plus the uh, chain two corners at the end of our last round. So that should just work out to one stitch, one single crochet per stitch all the way across. Once you get to that chain two corner, we're going to work a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet in that same um, corner spot, spot. And then we're just going to work single crochets in the next 40 stitches until we get to the next corner. So do that all the way around the square. At the end of round one, we can just join with a slip stitch. Now the directions are to fasten off. If you're like me and you really don't want to fasten off, I'm just going to actually slip stitch to that next chain two space. But don't forget that when you come back around here that you're going to have to work in these two spaces. Let's see if you can see those. There we go. Um, so now we're going to do round two. I'm going to chain one and we're going to single crochet, chain two, single crochet in that chain two space. Now if just another thought I had on on this, if you are actually using multiple colors in these finishing rounds, then you would need to fasten off and then you would just join with a slip stitch or a standing single crochet in any chain two corner. I just wanted to be clear about that. Okay, now for the rest of round two, we're going to single crochet in the next 42 stitches because of the chain two, we've added two stitches per side. So go ahead and single crochet in each of those 42 stitches all the way across. After single crocheting in each stitch across, we come to the corner where we work a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet. So go ahead and work that all the way around. Round two of the finishing rounds ends with a slip stitch in that first stitch of the round. And again, you can fasten off if you'd like and then join in any chain two corner. I'm going to do a little bit of cheating here. I'm just going to slip stitch to that next corner to avoid doing that. Chain one. And now this is where this corner, these corners are going to be slightly different. Um, before I show you that, let me just state that each side, and this is including the single crochets in the corner, each side at this point should have 44 stitches in each side, plus you have those chain two corners in each corner. Okay, so now for this corner, the final round, we're going to do two single crochets, chain two, and then two single crochets in each corner. And make sure now when you, when you crochet in these each stitch across that you find that very first stitch. It might be slightly hidden, 
by those um, single crochets. So uh, in total, once we go from corner to corner, and that's in count, including the two stitches that we're adding to each corner on each side, your stitch count should be bumped up now to 48 stitches um, per side. Okay, so go ahead and work that all the way around, making sure that you put two single crochets, chain two, and two single crochets in each corner all the way around. At the end of the round, I go ahead and join with a slip stitch. I'm going to give it a tug and a chain and go ahead and clip a nice long strand. And that ends Dutchie, which is um, square number five in the crochet along. Now just as a reminder, um, it doesn't matter what order you crochet these in, and I am actually going to be recording the first uh, two that don't have a video recording, and I'll also in the future be posting where you can find the video for number three, which was actually recorded by another designer, and I'm going to be very happy to share that information with you in the future, so just stay tuned to the Bonnie Bay Crochet channel, and we will have that forthcoming in the weeks ahead. If you haven't already, I just want to ask if you could just please subscribe to my channel. Just hit that little subscribe button and you won't miss any of the new material coming your way each week. All right. Well, I just want to wish you a wonderful uh, holiday season. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. However you celebrate. And I just want to wish God's blessings on you. Bye-bye.